Hello, this is Yuri. A couple of weeks ago, I watched the most important presentation called Samsara. This film was a collaboration between Ron Frick and Mark Magnuson. The reason this film was of great importance is because it covers a variety of topics in sociology, philosophy, anthropology, and it shows a great variety of clips on which the viewer is free to form their own opinion. What does the film show? By showing scenes from around the globe, it becomes a well interwoven, unified subject of the conditions of the world today. Because there is no commentary and no dialogue, the question that arises throughout the film is what is the opinion of the director, the cameraman, and the producer on all this? But because there is no commentary, at the same time, it will be fair to assume that the director and the producers had the question, what is the opinion of the viewer on all this? Samsara is a Sanskrit word, which pretty much means the turning of the wheel, the eternal struggle of man in search of salvation, and the search for truth, eternal suffering, and the waiting for something more, pretty much enlightenment in the Buddhist sense. But the movie is overall actually secular, because nobody that's religious would compose such compilation. The movie questions your very soul, it questions whether your opinions are true or valid in a sense. It asks, is that which is unbelievable, real? It questions the belief of the western-centric world of progress, of, if things weren't better yesterday, would they be better tomorrow? The film answers that question by showing a truly downhill spiral. There's also a sort of game being proctored with the music. The music is background to what's occurring, and at the same time, the music is a sort of reaction to what's occurring. There's a play with the musical ambience that it gives what's occurring on the screen. It's somehow related to the music, that what, if what's happening in the film is upbeat, the music is upbeat. If the music is somber, then what's happening on the screen is automatically somber. If the music is suspenseful, then what's being shown is automatically suspenseful and so on. The music ends with the image of the Bodhisattva with the thousand arms. And it also ends with the beautiful piece of artwork created by Nepal monks being wrecked. It shows the transience that some people are able to hold beauty and not take it as a value, are able to create and discard on the same breath, and so with the movie. It creates structure of great form framework and in the instance brushes them away. If you would like to watch the movie, it is available at documentarymania.com.